play two, three seconds again so that you can confirm them. She already confirmed sex from Pat Magali denies working for President Buhari. White lady flees from man on dance floor upon hearing is a Nigerian. Okay, so we pick it from the first. Earlier today, I reached out to Omo Elishore to uh, know exactly if he is still going to, if he's going to be part of because I learned that PAT will decide their consensus candidate this Thursday, which is tomorrow. So I reached out to Moe Lishore to check if he will be attending the decision, I mean, final meeting. And Shore confirmed to me, being the kind of person that he is, you know, Shore said, no, unequivocally, is not going to be there. And then he explained to me that he had only attended the PACT meeting once. And that was the time they took the photo that trended online. And um, after that once, he had never attended their meeting. So it was only one time she already attended PACT meeting and is never going to attend again. That is what he confirmed to me earlier today. So Shore has confirmed he has totally exited from PACT. So let's not talk about Pact and mention Shore again. He has exited from Pact. So he only attended once, after which he, he made his consent known to Pact and is not going to be part of Pact again. So whatever Pact decides has nothing to do with Shore. That's by implication. Having said that, we should also therefore note that we began to also hear that some held us in quotes, some are suggesting Obasanjos and the likes who are organizing CUPP and the Third Force. I've told some of these young aspirants, especially at the PACT Pact, to come up with their consensus candidates and that they will work with that consensus candidate. So that is another confirmation that Shure would not be part of PAC because. Without even having, there are some things you don't, because I've worked with, I've interviewed some of these people, I've attended their town halls, I've studied them, I know some questions I don't even need to ask, except for just asking and confirmation sake. The moment it was said that the elders, supposed elders, have said that the young presidential aspirant should present one person, and then they will see how they can work with that person. <laughs> they, they want to approve the person and see how they can work with the person. I already knew that it was not possible for someone like a Shore to be, because one of the things, if you have listened to Shore in several town hall meetings, is that he was, he was constantly abusing, I'm sorry, not abuse now, he was constantly speaking against these supposed elders because he doesn't like the way they have run Nigeria, according to him over time. So, and being a stubborn Shore as I have known him from time that I have studied him, it, the moment you mention that they are going to see some elders who will approve and bless an anointed candidate and Shore will not be part of it without even having to ask him about that. But one thing I confirmed from him today about Pat is whether he is still in or out. And he confirmed unequivocally that he is no longer part of Pat and that he only attended once, and that once was the time we saw the picture that spread all over the internet about PACT. Showare since then never attended PACT meeting. Let me flash again so that we know the second item we are moving to, which is about Kinsley Mogali. Well, you see there, Mogali denies working for President Momodu Buhari, and I'm going to explain this. I'm going to explain this. You see, Earlier today, I saw a certain news item that filtered all over the internet. And then the news was claiming that uh, I saw it on Leaders NG. And then it was also posted on Naira Land. And then the news was claiming that Kingsley Mo Professor Kingsley Mogalu is being wooed by presidency to drop his ambition and join President Mamadou Bari's campaign because they believe 
that it was it was gaining you know current it was it was gaining traffic on his ambition and that uh, he had so many youths on his side and as a result they wanted him to drop his ambition and join president Muhammadu Bari's campaign and by way of compensation they were going to drop the controversial finance minister who is currently facing uh, bashing from public about escaping and forging NYC exclusion certificates that they were going to make his Limogalu the finance minister as a replacement for Kemi Adioshu. So after seeing this, I reached out to King Limogalu himself. I and then I sent I did a screenshot of that thing sent to him. I didn't get a response immediately, and then I put a call through to his uh, media director uh, in person of Mr. Aziz Quadri. Aziz Quadri called back to say that it was total uh, falsehood and that it is not true, that it is completely false, that there is no such thing and that it was not going to happen. So a few hours after... Uh, Kinsley Mogalu's media executive, you know, media director, confirmed, I mean, said this to me that it is total out to falsehood and it was not going to happen. He then sent six paragraph message to me to further buttress that this thing is not going to happen. It is completely false and that the Nigerian public should dismiss it. And I'm going to read everything he sent to me as a matter of uh, follow-up on what he told me via phone call. I'm going to play it to you, and I'm also going to read it so that we all follow it. So don't follow the news. It is completely false. It is rumor. The news that Osimba Joe and some delegates from the presidency met with Mogalu and uh, prevailed on him or pressured him or talked him in to uh, leaving his own presidential ambition to go and work for President Mohamedou Buhari, and by way of compensation, they will replace Mrs. Kemi Adios in the finance minister with Professor Kinsley Mogali. It is total falsehood, at least according to Professor Kinsley Mogali this afternoon. At least according to Professor Kinsley Mogali this afternoon, after I reached out to him. The following are the messages. Uh, contents of the message he sends to me afterward, and I'm going to read them as I also display them. To build a nation movement wishes the to build a nation movement wishes to deny in the strongest stance recent online reports suggesting that Professor Kingsley Mogalu, a former CBN deputy governor and 2019 presidential aspirant of the Young Progressive Party has been approached to drop his ambition based on promise of a cabinet position. I'm sorry for that delay. I was trying to find the second paragraph. So based on his long and distinguished career at the UN and service to Nigeria as CBN governor, Professor Mohalu has no need to take up any job in this or any administration, especially because of the lack of vision and competence that has seen Nigeria become the poverty capital of the world. 